KCRA 3 News begins now. Every year, billions of dollars go unused, and that unclaimed chunk of cash, it could be sitting in your wallet or purse. It's in the form of forgotten gift cards. Still ahead, how to get the most practical use for your money. And we all want to get the most out of our money, especially during amid tough, tough economic times. But we often forget about money that might be sitting around in our own home right now in the form of gift cards from Christmas, birthdays, or other special occasions. Well, joining us right now is Michael Kahn, a user of cashcard.com. And Michael, is this true? You really can uh, make some money on these gift cards as well? Well, yeah, you can make some money if you buy your gift cards using your credit card with cash yeah. back. You can get 1 or 2% depending on what your credit card is offering you. Yeah, we actually have five points we want to get to. Let's start with point number one, which is coupons. Gift cards and coupons. How can you save money that way? Well, if your store is having a sale, you go online and get a gift card at a discount, generally around 10%. Then you go to the store, which is having their sale, add that 10% that you save for the gift card, and you just have a huge sale just for yourself. And then you were say, also mentioning the fact cash back. You could actually get some cash back while also trying to save money. Right. Use your credit card with the cash back feature to buy the gift card, and you get that additional 1% or 2% cash back right in your pocket. And you use the coupon on top of that, so now we're exactly. starting to stack up the savings. You also, along with all of this, it seems kind of uh, uh, basic, but also wait for a sale, right? Right, yeah. If you can time it around sales, just, you know, the stores you shop from, go online and get the cards from stores you frequent and you'll quickly use them. So we're already to wait for a sale, then use the coupon with the card that has the cash back, add the gift card to that. We've already saved a bunch of money, uh, but also you're saying the gift card itself, if you're buying it for somebody else, you can actually make money or I should say save money buying the gift card. Yes, precisely. How? Well, you <laughs> Like w w when you're buying a gift, let's say, say I'm buying a $100 gift card okay. to uh, my favorite store. How do I save money on that, buying that gift card? Well, you go online, you look for the card that you're going to buy, and it's listed at whatever discount that the company is offering. So let's just say it's 10%, you're getting a $100 gift card, you're spending $90 for this gift card, and your credit card is giving you 1% cash back. So you're getting that 1% cash back. So then you have this $100 gift card that you spent 90 bucks for. Then you go to the store and let's say they're having 20% off. You get that 20% off plus the 10% off. So really, you're spending $70 for $100 worth of stuff. And then if I'm stuck with a gift card that I've had for a while that, oh, well, I forgot about this. Can I actually sell that you online You can sell too? it or you can even trade it for a gift card that you'll use. So what can I get on, like say I have a $100 gift card. What would I sell it for? Uh, generally, it's about, I think, 70 to 80 percent, but I know it varies depending on how hot that store is. If it's a really popular store, uh, you'll get uh, less money for it. Right. Or, no, you'll get more money more for money, it. More money, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's a store that right. isn't frequented quite as much, then you'll get less money. So if you got a gift card for a place you weren't really excited about, you can put that online, find somebody who is excited about it, and they'll give you at least a portion of that gift card in cash, and then they'll take the gift card, and everybody wins. Oh, yeah, it's a <laughs> great deal. I love doing it. Oh, and le one last tip that we wanted to get to, I remembered, is uh, how, the, how all of this can help you save money at the pump. Well, you can even buy gas cards at a discount. Oh, really? And I just looked online the other day, and there's probably eight or ten gas cards, and they're about 2%, but everyone uses yeah. gas. I was going to say, every percent so, adds up these days. And you put all these together, and you've actually got some significant And combine savings. that with the uh, gas company's gas card. Exactly. Well, Michael Kahn of CashCard.com, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank some you great very advice much, Mike. on saving money in this economy. Moving on, speaking of the Women's World Cup champion.